welcome back to my channel this is JJ and um, how are you guys <laughs> I'm sorry I'm a little bit tired today but I wanted to put a video up I felt called to so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna pull some cards uh, to see what we need to surrender at this time I feel like we're letting go of a lot of things a lot of things there's a lot of change going on especially with the eclipse right so Let's see what we need to surrender at this time. Surrender to trust. Some of you need to trust your path, trust your journey, trust that you're in the right place. Surrender to scarcity. So someone needs to stop. Whoa. Yeah, you keep spiraling back. <laughs> you keep spiraling back to this. I feel like sometimes you're feeling like, yeah, you know, I could do it. I have enough. And then sometimes when your bank account goes low or when... Uh, you have to do some spending, you spiral back to that of, I'm not going to have any more, any more money, or my bank account is, uh, is, is losing money, or because you're spending money, you're like, oh shoot, this is $50 less, or this is $100 less, or $20 less, so Spirit is saying, stop believing that, stop thinking, stop going back to that scarcity belief, you know, um, be open to the idea that there is more than enough, that everything that you spend will come back to you and stop going back to the scarcity belief. Trust that every all your needs will be provided. Trust that spirit is always looking out for you. And yeah, I'm just hearing there's more than enough. There's more than enough for you. So we have option one, option two, and option three. Some of you, I feel like your life has been a little chaotic. Uh, you need to take up some medi uh, medication. Okay, some of you need to take your medication. Someone's not taking their medication and they need to take their medication. For others of you, I am getting that you need to take up on meditation. I'm also hearing someone needs to go refill their medication. Someone, mm, for, so, for, one, for someone out there, I feel like your doctor, you haven't gone and see your doctor and for others of you, it's like you haven't been to the pharmacy to kind of like refill your medication. So it's going to be different for everyone. If the message apply, remember these are general messages. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force anything into your life. Like always, the timestamps will be listed in the description box below along with my email for personal readings. Uh, let's see. I feel like some of you need to take a moment of silence. Like I said, your life has been too chaotic. Your life has been all of a sudden been the eight of wands where you're feeling this rush of energy and you're kind of like, I don't know. Um, you need to kind of retreat. Someone out there needs to retreat. Reconnect with that inner child, okay, with the Six of Cups there. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Hierophant. Wow. So we need to address our commitment. We need to, some of you are battling a system or battling your own um, I'm hearing your own traditions or you're going like against the grain. That is what I'm hearing. I'm going to also pull a guidance card, a goddess card for you guys. Ooh. Endings and beginnings. Look at that. Yep. Like I said, with the eclipse, right? There, There's the eclipse. We are all... I feel like this is what we need to surrender because we are all ending a cycle of our lives to enter a new one, a more committed one. That is what I am hearing. And this card is reminding us, and thank you, Spirit, for confirming to me that the old must be released. So that's why I felt called to doing this reading of what we need to surrender to. So I feel like Callie here is telling me and all of you guys that are watching this that you are meant to watch it because there's something that we're not letting go of. And in order to start this new journey in our lives, we need to let go of this or this needs to change in our lives. Okay. 
So thank you, Cowley, for confirming this. Thank you, angels, for confirming this. That would that yes, we need to release something here. And I feel like that's the major lesson with the hierophant here. I feel like I need to catch my breath. So that's what I'm saying. Like some of you feel like you're you're in a rush to take action or you're rushing to do something. And spirit is like, yeah, you need to take action, but relax. Okay. So let's start with option one. Like always, the timestamps are listed in the description box below. So let's see. What does option one need to release? Surrender to play. Take a break. <laughs> what did I say? I feel like I'm like, I feel like I need to catch my breath. Someone here needs to take a break. Someone here needs to relax. Okay. I feel like you've been so dedicated and so committed to your goal that it's coming to the point where you're like exhausted. And I know this is going to sound so bizarre, but it's true. The moment we let go of things, the moment we relax and play, that is when we are more receptive to uh, spirit bringing us the solutions to our problems because we're not worried about them. We're, we're worried about our playtime that we're more open to receiving this guidance to get through our obstacles or we get the sudden moment of enlightenment of like, oh, this is what I want to do next. So just relax. You've been working very hard. Catch your breath. Go out and play with your kids or go out and um, have some fun. Go out in nature. Go out and I don't know where you live in the world, but this woman here is walking through a pond. So, you know, just I'm getting the energy from this woman or girl of like, fuck it, you know, like, screw it. I'm going to go. I'll figure this out later and I'm going to have some fun right now. Whatever that that idea of fun is to you, go and do that. Do something fun. Play is play is a time of recreating and rejuvenation. So you need to rejuvenate. You need to take care of yourself. You've been working too hard. I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need. And God is in charge of how that will happen. What did I say? Someone is worried about money. Someone is going back to that scarcity belief. I said it. Thank you, angels. are confirming. Good, because I was like tired. and I wasn't going to post today, but... Thank you for confirming. They're saying yes, you know, someone is definitely doing all this work because they feel that their money is running low or they feel like they need to stock up just in case of a moment of scarcity. And I get it. We live in a uh, capitalistic world, right, where we run with money and money is like everything. We got stuck in this in this world of like we need money in order to to live our lives. But we need to also have trust and faith that Spirit will always provide us with what we need. And we always have, I'm pretty sure if you look at your world, if you stop this video right now and you go look at your closet, you go look at your belongings, you have more than enough. So Spirit here is saying, do not worry about the money. Do not worry about if you're going to have more for tomorrow. The money will come. Maybe you're in a situation where you have bills to pay. Maybe you're in a situation where you unexpected bill, you know. And Spirit is saying, yeah, don't worry about it right now. They are in charge of how that money will come to you, of how your needs will be met. Spirit is saying, now it's time for you to focus on your playtime, on your me time. Take a break. You've been working really hard. Take a break. Relax. Ah, sorry, I got a little passionate with that one. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Wow. Yeah, you need a break. This is <laughs> this the Ten of Swords energy. I'm not laughing at you guys, okay? I'm laughing with you guys because I've been in this position of like, oh my God, you know, what am I going to do? I have these bills. I have these things that I need to pay or will I have enough for next month or the upcoming week? You know, rent's coming next week. So, you know, I get it. I, I get it. And I feel like you've been through an ending. Again, this is like the Kali card. You know, we've been through ending. We've been releasing things. It's been to the point where you feel dead. You feel like, oh, you know, I can't do this anymore. And spirit is here foreshadowing, foreshadowing to you that if you keep this up, if you keep working, like burning the candle at both ends, you're going to end up here at the Ten of Swords energy. And we don't want that. But it's also a card of like, yeah, you know, you might be at your lowest right now with the Ten of Swords. You might be, yeah, at your lowest, very depressed, very sad. But you know what? Spirit is saying, 
guess what? There's nowhere else to go but up here, okay? You're at the Ten of Swords. After the Ten is a One. So your new beginning is coming. Do not worry. But I want you right now to focus on play. Surrender the idea of having to work so hard to the point of exhaustion. You need to let that idea go. And then we have Bridget. Stand up for what you believe is right. Yeah. You know, by standing up, you don't have to also, just, just because you're making a stand here, doesn't mean that you need to exhaust yourself. You don't. Don't back down in the sense of like, of what you believe. Believe that you have more than enough. Believe that the money's already coming to you. Believe that you've worked your butt off and you deserve the best. But also have fun. And remember that just because you're having fun and you're taking a break doesn't mean that you're backing down. No, it's not. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that you're being negligent or that you're being like, woof, you know, I'm throwing in the towel. No, it's not. It means that you're having enough faith and trust that your needs will be met. So that is what I am getting for you guys for option one. I hope this helps you and relax relax okay because I, I get the sense of like passion like <laughs> option one I'm very passionate of what I'm talking about for some reason so I'm getting like you guys are passionate on what you are doing and what you are focused on and you know that's not a bad thing but also take a break to kind of reconnect because I feel like the sense of like oh, tiredness is coming in and like I said we don't want to get to this ten of swords energy so now for option two we have Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. You know what? Maybe that's why when I was pulling the cards, if you saw the beginning of the video, this card kind of like went with this one. So if you watched option one, maybe, or if you pick this, maybe I suggest you go to option two as well. Because I feel like with, with option number two, what I'm getting here is that you're trying to do everything yourself. You're not letting people help you. And that's not a good thing. I feel like there's a, there, there's a lot of support and love for you out there. I'm getting like the five of pentacles energy. Kind of like the help is there, but you have to reach out. Or you have to allow them to help you. And also this goes hand in hand with spirit and your angels. You, We live in a free will world. And the angels and God or however you go about it, the universe cannot help you if you do not give them the okay if you do not give them the permission because we like I said we have free will we can choose to accept help or not accept it so I feel like for group number two you need to let go of the idea that you're a one-man island you need to allow people to help you you need to allow people to provide you with love and support and that will help you take the pressure off of what you are doing. And allow people to nurture you. Maybe it's not so much them being hands-on and like, like, let me help you with your work. Maybe it's just the way they help you is through supporting you. Through telling you like, hey, let's go out for a beer or let's go out for a coffee. And them just telling you like, what a great person you are. And being like, oh, you know what? You look tired. Let's go out and, and have a drink. Let's go out to the movies. And they're nurturing you. And by that, you're recharging yourself. And you're able to continue on your goal, continue on your task, being recharged. I am also getting here this sense of like, some of you don't let your partner help you. Whether this is your husband or your wife. But I'm getting, you don't let your partner, your significant other help you. And that's becoming a problem in your marriage. I feel like you do not allow... Like, yes, you're married to this person, but I feel like there's a sense of you that you block this person off. There's this um, side of you of like, I don't know if I can fully show intimacy with this person or I don't know if I can fully trust this person in my life or trust them with my work or trust them with, with what I'm doing or trust them with my, my dreams and my ideas. And I feel like spirit is saying, this person really wants to help you. <laughs> like this person sees your hard work, admires your work ethic, 
and this goes for anybody in general who picked this card the people who are trying to help you they see your work ethic and they're like man this person works so hard you know let me take her out or let me take him out and kind of like distract him or her a little bit right so i feel like you need to allow people in you need to allow for partnership for a uh, deep relationship for deep connections with people to kind of become a priority now in your life okay and allow yourself to be nurtured and cared for and i'm getting marriage for some of you like marriage so maybe some of you need to let your husband or wife help you trust them or maybe for them to reach out to you maybe you've been so buried into your work that you haven't given the attention that your partner seeks or and at the same time you yourself need that will help you recharge it doesn't have to be anything huge it could be something as little as just cuddling and watching tv cuddling and listening to your favorite song you know little things it doesn't have to be big uh, or fancy things We have Oceana, take action, you're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So yeah, I feel like people will help you assert yourself. There's a lot of pink in this in these cards here. So what I'm getting is like, you need to, for some of you, you need to work on your love, on your heart chakra, letting people in, let, letting yourself to be vulnerable. I feel like people will validate where you are and where you want to go. I feel like these people will be, I'm getting, I'm hearing your pillar of support and that is beautiful. We all want those, you know, those friends or those connections that are your ride or die that are there with you through thick and thin. And I feel like you have people around you like that, but you need to allow them. You need to allow yourself to receive, to receive this love and support for yourself. And once you do that, you will see how your life will start to expand and how Things that were in the dark will all of a sudden be illuminated for you. Look at that. Speaking of illuminating for you, you guys saw me pull these cards, okay? So the sun. So things will be illuminated for you. I feel like these people will be very fun for you. Will bring that inner child out. Will recharge you. Will bring in that vitality, that happiness, that success that you're seeking for. And if you do that, if you allow these people in, look at where you're going. You're going towards the sun, towards your victory, towards your happiness, towards your accomplishments, towards your success. So work on allowing people to, to connect with you, allowing people to, to reach out to you and to nurture you and to support you and be those pillars of support, those pillars of light for some of you. And then we have High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through spiritual teaching. And exactly, as you allow people to help you, you will help them too. You will illuminate something in them. And that way you guys teach each other, right? You have this like quality of like teaching each other. And I feel like these people have a lot of, a lot of knowledge that you can benefit from at the same time. You have a lot of knowledge that can benefit them. And through that, through working together and being vulnerable and allowing people into your circle, will take you to the sun energy, this victory energy. And some, I feel like someone in your group is the high priestess. Someone is your oracle in this group. Someone is that, that connection between the higher realms and... Um, and here are our, our reality. So someone is very much in touch with source in your group. And I feel like this person has a lot of, a lot of um, intuition, a lot of guidance for you. But this person will not. You see, the high priestess energy, she will not give that information to just anybody. She needs to trust and she needs to know that you are worthy of this energy. And maybe that's you. Maybe you're like, I need to make sure that the people that I'm letting in are worthy. And, you know, you're right. You know, do your work, do your research and see if this person, listen to your gut, is this person, you know, um, 
worthy of entering my circle. And maybe this person, maybe there's a person around you who is like that, who maybe seems a little close offish, a little private, but maybe once you let them in and you show them who you really are and they see that you trust them, they are your, they're going to be their personal oracle. Spirit's going to use them to kind of guide you and use that guidance through her or through, or yeah, I said through her. So maybe she's a female, maybe even a Leo. But I feel like there's a lot of knowledge here that someone wants to share with you. But you need to allow them. You need to open up to receiving. Okay? So now to option three. That is a beautiful reading. Option three. We have surrender worry. What did I say? We're recommitting to something. I was saying that with the Hierophant. You know? Uh, stop worrying. And we have the nine of wands at the bottom. It's like, it's like you want, you know, you're focused on what you want. It's like there's been obstacles and spirit is saying, don't worry. I know you've been through a challenging situation. I know you've been, I know, I know has been trial after trial after trial. I know that you have things to, to overcome, but spirit is saying, now you need to commit yourself that you're not going to worry. Let go of this worrisome energy. And I feel like you've been living, like the card says here, an anxiety-driven life. You've been very anxious about your future. Very anxious about what's, what's my life purpose. What is supposed to be my destiny? Uh, and, you know, I can totally understand that. Because I've been in that position of like, oh my God, am I on the right path? Am I on the right path? And let me tell you something. Sometimes a lot, a, our life path is not something extravagant like someone who cures cancer, someone who finds a cure for something else. Like some of us are not, that's not our life purpose. For some of us, our life purpose is just living our life, being, leading with example. And by you leading an honest, authentic, peaceful life with your truth, that may be your life purpose and people, you will inspire people even if you don't see it. But everybody that comes in contact with you or everybody who has the privilege of uh, coming across your path, you will invoke something in them. You will provoke something. You will enlighten them. You will guide them. You will inspire them in some way. So spirit here is saying, do not worry. Let go of that anxiety. You've been worrying too much. And if it's an obstacle, if it's a challenging situation that you are in, maybe in your relationship, maybe in career, maybe, like I said, in your life path, Spirit is saying, do not worry. You will overcome that. But commit yourself to not being anxious. And maybe you're, maybe, maybe you are the group that needs to take back your anxiety medication. Because I got somebody needs to get medication. If you skip the intro, I mentioned it. Someone needs to refill their medication. So if that's your case and now you're like, oh my gosh, my anxiety is out of control. There is no shame in taking medication. I take medication for my anxiety. You know, it's, it's, there's no shame in that. So you shouldn't ever feel ashamed or let people uh, put stigmas on you and stuff like that. Okay. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Exactly. It may feel like you're just like, you know, this person's on the swing here. It seems like things are foggy around you. It seems like wh what's going on here is like your anxiety is not even, it's fogging up where you're going. It's like you don't have a clear vision of where you want to go. It's like, I know I, I know I want to, for example, I know I want to be in... I don't know, San Francisco, for example, you want to move to San Francisco and you're just like, I don't know all the details. How am I going to get there? What spirit is saying, you know, relax. You might not have all the details of where you want to go and you being caught up in that. It's all it is doing. It's fogging up your vision and it's causing you to have panic attacks or anxiety or fall into depression. I also get the sense of like lethargy here. Like there's this like energy of like, you know what? I'm just tired. Like you're letting life take you wherever it is that you want to go. And spirit is, is telling me to tell you to stay focused, to stay determined, to stay driven. 
with what you want. It's okay if you don't have all the details. That is perfectly fine. But just remember where you want to be and life will take care of the rest. And you put in the work, right? We just can't leave it to spirit. Crystal, have faith and hope. Something there, there is something positive and new on the horizon you just can't see. Yeah, everything's foggy around you. You know, everything's foggy. Maybe you can see a little glimpse of like, okay, maybe there's potential there. Maybe I should go there. Maybe here, you know, there's a little bit of the buildings there. But I feel like it's not quite clear to you yet. But spirit here is telling you, you know, have faith, have hope that there's something beautiful. There's something positive. There's something exciting that will get you out of this um, anxiety, that will get you out of this lethargic state of being. And they're saying, yeah, you just can't see it yet, but it's just right around the corner. Just have a little bit of patience. Things are about to... I feel like if you change your perspective, because she's facing that way. If you change your perspective, you will be able to see. And what I'm getting here, it's like, you know, she's holding on to her heart. So she's sad. And the same as her. She, she looks sad. I'm, I'm hearing leave it to spirit, okay? We have the devil. So maybe this resonates with you if you're a Capricorn individual or if you're dealing with the Capricorn. But I feel like this is, you know, things are keeping you tied up. The devil is anything that is lower vibration. I feel that um, this is not healthy. Something has become unhealthy, whether this is your anxiety, your worriness, your, your depression. It has become... It has become toxic in your life and you need to let this go because this is keeping you prisoner of your situation. Okay. You need to um, detach yourself from this. For some of you, this is what you detach yourself from. And now you're just like, okay, you know, I, I let this go. So how do I now? Because I feel like there's a sense of feeling lost here in this in this group but spirit is saying you know stay stay hopeful stay um faithful that something good is coming yeah and i'm hearing like the sun is about to break through and there's a lot of confusion here yeah we can see it with the clouds there's a lot of confusion here um, also there is temptation around you and I feel like spirit is saying do not fall into this temptation make sure that you uh, that's what I heard stay stay faithful <laughs> stay faithful to your goal stay faithful stay determined stay committed to your relationship to your goal whatever this is just stay committed and faithful to it okay things are about to change the sun will break through the clouds bodies of water Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Yeah, there's exhaustion here. Let's cover this devil up. <laughs> there's exhaustion here. Um, and, you know, if you deal with anxiety, you know how exhausting that can be. It can be very exhausting. Like, sometimes when my anxiety is really bad, if I go to a public place, like, I literally feel when I come back home, like, my body just took a beating. Like, it went through hell and back. Like, so if you deal with anxiety, I totally get it. And spirit is saying, you know, you need to recharge, let go of the worriness and recharge, take care of yourself, spend time in water to cleanse yourself, to let go of these negative things, these negative thought patterns. Because the devil could also be, doesn't have to always be like very major, horrible things like unfaithfulness or drugs and alcohol. It could just mean as well as negative, uh, thought patterns maybe you keep worrying like the card says or maybe um i just heard self-medication so if you're self-medicating um i'm no one to tell you anything but you should probably consult a doctor with that okay so just spend time with water recharge and stay hopeful and let go of this of this worry worriness energy here i know it's easier said than done but distract yourself do something nice for yourself and i just keep hearing the sun's gonna break through so i wish you guys the best take care of yourselves bye bye